Hello. Let's begin session 3C, optimization. The first talk will be deterministic consensus maximization with biconvex programming by Jiping Tsai, Tajun Chin, Hu Li, and David Suter. And Jipeng will give the talk. Hi, everyone. I'm Jipeng from the University of Adelaide. So in this talk, I would like to share our new algorithm for efficient robust fitting. Is it too loud? So in many computer vision applications, we want to fit a model given an input set of data. As we can see in the left figure, um, we are given an input set of feature matches, and we try to compute the transformation between the left image and the right image. In these matches, the green ones are correct correspondences, which we call inliers. And the red ones are incorrect correspondences, which we call outliers. So for model fitting, as you can see in the right figure, a single bad outlier can drag the least square solution far away from the desired location. Therefore, our task is to perform robust fitting, which aims to make the model fitting procedure insensitive to outliers so that we can find this green line. So in computer vision, one of the most popular ways for robust fitting is consensus maximization. This problem originates from RANSAC, which I, I'm sure most of you already know. So in consensus maximization problem, we want to find the model that is consistent with the largest data subset. As we can see in the right figure, a datum is said to be consistent with a model if its residual to the model is less than a given threshold epsilon. And depending on the problem instance, the residual RI can have different form. In this work, we focus on the form that can be represented by a convex quadratic function QI and divided by a linear and positive function PI. So there are many computer vision applications that follow this form. For example, homography estimation, camera resection, triangulation, and so on. So although the definition of the consensus maximization problem is clear and easy, solving this problem is actually pretty hard. As you can see, this figure is, a, is the objective function of a 1D consensus maximization problem where the input data are those small circles, actually points, which we rendered as small circles for visualization. Um, and we want to find the, the location on this x-axis that is within the epsilon distance to most number of these points, OK? So as we can see, since at each location, the number of small circles that are within the epsilon distance to this location can only be integer values. Therefore, the objective function looks like a step function, is a step function. So this not only makes the objective function non-convex and non-continuous, but it also makes locally optimal solution almost exist everywhere. This makes it hard to follow the gradient to improve the quality of any initial solution. So previously, many applications prefer to use RANSAC for robust fitting. Although this algorithm is very fast in practice, but it often yield a much lower consensus than the maximum achievable, as we will see later in the results. And due to the random behavior, it is sometimes unstable. So a more effective approach is the locally optimized RANSAC or low RANSAC. In this approach, it contains an outer RANSAC iteration. And whenever this outer RANSAC finds a better solution, it initiates a inner RANSAC, where in this inner RANSAC, it tries to fit model on non-minimal non inlier samples in the hope that fitting model on non-minimal samples will improve the solution quality. However, this approach is still a random, random heuristic, which is less effective on challenging data set. 
Therefore, we want a more guided search using deterministic and continuous optimization. There are already some previous approaches that try to do this. They do this by first relax the non-convex and non-continuous objective function into a continuous objective function, and then perform optimization on this continuous ob objective function. However, relying on relaxation uh, makes them need to tune the smoothing parameters, where these smoothing parameters are generally non-geometrically meaningful to the users. But if we don't spend time to tune these parameters, we will find that the returning results may even have lower consensus than the initial solution, which is not what we want. Therefore, to solve this problem, we want to propose an efficient and deterministic algorithm which does not rely on the relaxation. So how do we achieve this goal? We achieve this goal by first introduce the update problem, where in this update problem, we have a initial solution x tilde, and we want to improve its quality by asking for a higher consensus, higher than delta, yeah? So if, if this problem is, has a feasible solution, they must lie inside those red regions, yeah? So we want to drag x tilde into those red region by doing this feasibility test. And imagine that if all, all of these update problems are solvable for every delta, then we can simply solve consensus maximization by finding the largest delta that is feasible to the update problem because the consensus is the thing we want to maximize. And if we find the maximum delta that is feasible to this problem, the delta will be exactly equal to the maximum consensus value. So in each iteration of the bisection, we solve one update problem and iteratively tightens the bound of delta until they meet. However, a slightly negative result is that the update problem is not solvable, not tractable for all delta. Because its feasible region, as you can see, the red regions are non-convex, yeah? Because they are not even connected in general. So we don't hope to solve for all update problems, but we still hope to solve for most update problems efficiently using deterministic algorithms so that we can still achieve a good enough solution for a consensus maximization problem. So to do this, we have to come up with an algorithm that can efficiently solve for each uh, update problem. The major contribution of this work is that we found a biconvex reformulation, which is this one, which is exactly equivalent to the original update problem. And in this reformulation, we have a bilinear objective function and a convex domain. The equivalence between the reformulation and the original update problem is that the objective function of this reformulation is lower bounded by zero. And we can prove that if the optimum value of this reformulation is zero, then the update problem must have a feasible solution. Otherwise, the, up the update problem does not have a feasible solution. So the advantage is clear. Now we can use standard biconvex optimization approach to solve this reformulation so that we can efficiently solve for each update problem. So the biconvex optimization performs like this. We first fix one part of the variables, x and s, and optimize over y. This gives us a linear program. And then we fix y and optimize over x and s, which gives us a second order comb program. Both these two problems can be efficiently solved into global optimal by standard solvers. 
Therefore, we now have a way to solve the update problem efficiently, although we don't guarantee any global optimality. But we will show now that our algorithm performs well in practice. So first, let's look at the linear regression experiment. In this, exper in this experiment, we generate 1,000 measurements with outlier rate varied from 0 to 75%. On the left-hand side, we have the consensus size of all the suboptimal methods. Our method is rendered in black. For most of the data instances, our method finds the largest consensus set. And to verify that a larger consensus set actually benefits the model fitting procedure, we further perform least squares model fitting on the returned consensus set. And then we measure the residual from the ground truth inliers to the fitted model. Although a lower, consensus, a, a lower residual does not always mean a better model, but it generally means that uh, this model will be better if you get a lower residual. Therefore, as you can see on the right figure, a higher consensus does benefit the model fitting procedure. The runtime of our algorithm is comparable to all other suboptimal algorithms. For nonlinear applications, for example, homography estimation, um, our method is significantly better in terms of the consensus size to other suboptimal methods. As we can see in the left figure, in each group, the last two bars are the results of our method. They are given different initial solution. The left one is given the initial solution from a randomly generated vector. The, sec the last one is given the initial solution from the result of fixing low RANSAC, which is a state-of-the-art variant of RANSAC. As we can see, our method has significantly higher consensus than the other suboptimal methods, while its runtime is still comparative to other methods. Here are some visualizations. For, the time, for saving the time, I'll just skip them. <clears throat> In Triangulation application, we observe a similar situation. While in some difficult data, we can see that using a better initialization actually helps for our algorithm. And we also perform experiments on fundamental matrix estimation. Um, for this problem, the model needs to satisfy a non-convex rank two constraint. Therefore, to conduct convex optimization in those deterministic methods, we first ignore the rank two constraint. And then after optimization, we enforce the rank two constraint back using SVD. Surprisingly, our method is the only deterministic method that can still significantly improve the result of fixing low RANSAC. Um, here's another visualization. So to further emphasize the advantage of our method against other deterministic methods, we show the consensus size in each iteration of all the deterministic methods. And we give all the deterministic methods the initial solution from fixing low set, whose result is rendered in the blue dashed line. So as we can see that, the other two deterministic methods all converged to a worse than initial solution due to the use of relaxation. So in conclusion, we have proposed a biconvex optimization approach for consensus maximization that is deterministic and efficient. And more importantly, it does not rely on the relaxation. So at this stage, we, we might want to ask a question that, since we, are, we already got deterministic and efficient, can we have something more such as some global optimality along with them. If you want to know the answer, please wait for my next talk. Thank you. Please come up to the microphones for questions. Um, 
the ransack you can run as long as you want, right? So, I mean, where did the timing information for ransack come from? You could have run it exactly as long as your method. Um, in the experiment, we run ransack, uh, use the confidence rate of returning a full inline subset as 99%. So, the, the ransack needs a confidence rate to terminate its algorithm, which tells you that we have this much confidence that the result of ransack will be a full inline subset. So we use 99%. All right. Well, the second talk is highly relevant, so perhaps there will be additional questions after that. <laughs>